Hello and welcome back to a new review for In Another World with my smartphone episode 6. And Toya got his new home, not staying in the inn anymore. And well, he got a fucking huge mansion. What the fuck? It's really huge. And there are a bunch of people. Obviously, he's going to continue living with the four girls. And they were surprised when he said, well, yeah, it's way too big for five people. And they were shocked because they thought that this house was for Toya and Yumina because they're going to marry and that they will have to look for another place. But obviously not because it's a harem show and it's going full harem road as well. So, yep, no need to worry. The other girls are still around. And we got some stuff as well. We had the butler, the guys for the security, and the maids from the maid guild, stuff like this. And then when Sue and her father came around, because they're basically living in the neighborhood, they had a favor or a little mission for Toya, which was to get to the other country, because they're going to be an allies in the future. And that's basically the reason that they're now setting on to get there, because Toya has to use his gate spell to let the kings meet, but having a king travel is dangerous, so yeah, you kinda get it. And Obviously we had the first few glimpses of the eh, pretty sweet romance going on in this arc as well between Olga, the cute animal girl, and then Lion, the knight from the kingdom. And to be honest, from the light novel, they are seriously cute and you're really rooting for them. So, yeah pretty cute and I hope we will get that extra chapter because that was seriously cute and hilarious but yeah great stuff so far and obviously we had some action as well but at first Toya he started to use his smartphone for magic as well because they felt that someone was coming close bandits and they was like well let's check it out on the map app you check that in there ah, let me check something he casted uh, some spells and he is now using his mount for multi-targeting which is hilarious because well it's his smartphone he can do anything and yeah he paralyzed 28 bandits in an instant yeah, he's pretty OP, but he's still a funny guy, so yeah, props for that. And then we had the fight to fight a dragon, and then another dragon appeared. The second dragon was like, ah, sorry for the trouble my comrade caused. Uh, he went kind of wild, and I'm kind of too late, I wanted to stop him, but well. And with the dragon it was so funny because Quirko can actually understand the dragon, and he was like, you can't even speak human, what the hell do you want? It's It was really cool and Koko was really pissed because the dragon said something not so nice to Toya. And yeah, the dragon died. And obviously, Isekai show, we have a guild. There is going to be a dragon slayer title. It's so obvious it's not even a spoiler anymore. And good lord, I laughed eh, pretty much the entire episode. And we finished it off with Toya saving the day, defeating the dragon, and then helping out healing the others. The girls are out to, well, save the city, getting rid of the fire and stuff like this. And to end the show we had a lab pillow. Yep. 
Toya, you lucky bastard. You got a lap pillow from your future wife. So, yeah. Really a fluffy episode with some action. And I'm really happy to see that we're going to get a, well, not the best adaptation, but well, it's still quite faithful to the light novel, so I'm not going to complain. And yeah, next episode will be fun too, can't wait for it. And these were actually my thoughts for episode 6 of Isekai Smartphone. As always, thanks for watching. I hope I will see you guys next time as well. Have a good night. Bye bye.